2.5b, add and subtract fractions with different denominators. If the denominators don't match, we will find the LCM, or in other words, now we're going to call that the LCD. We multiply denominators by missing factors. Once we have the denominators um, multiplied by the missing factor, we're going to multiply the numerator by the same factors. If you do not know the LCD, you can always multiply the two denominators, but that's not the ideal. Usually we want the LCD to keep our numbers from getting too big. So let's take a look at example one. We have five-thirds and four-ninths. They do not have a common denominator. I usually like to rewrite them so that they are vertical because it makes me a little bit easier when I'm getting the common denominator. Using some mental math, I notice that 9 is a multiple of 3, so that means 9 is my lowest common multiple or my LCD. So what I want to do is I want to upscale my fractions or find an equivalent fraction with 9 as a denominator. With my first fraction, I need to multiply my 3 times 3 in order to get 9. That means I need to multiply my 5 times 3 also. And now I have 15. Okay, on my second fraction, I already have the common denominator, so I do not need to multiply by anything here. I can just go ahead and write down my 4. Now I just draw a line dividing that off so that I know where I'm working at. I'm adding, so I'm just going to go ahead and take 15 plus 4, which gives me 19. And remember, my denominator stays the same. So I'll have 9 as my denominator. I have no common factors between 19 and 9, so that tells me that I am done. I have now added 5 thirds plus 4 ninths. Let's take a look at our second problem. We have 3 fourths minus 5 six. I move the minus up to my numerator in the 5 six. It makes it easier to deal with. Now I need my LCD. My LCD for 4 and 6, well again I'm going to use that mental math. 4 and 6 will both go into 12. So 12 is going to be my new denominator. Okay, so what do I have to multiply 4 by to get 12? Well, I need to multiply by 3, so I'm going to multiply both the top, the numerator and the denominator by 3, and that's going to give me 9. Now I'm going to multiply the denominator. I have 6 times what gives me 12? Well, 6 times 2 gives me 12, so I'm going to multiply 5 times negative 2, which will give me a negative 10. Again, I'm going to divide those off. And now 9 plus a negative 10 gives me a negative 1. My denominator stays 12. We do not make any changes to that. We keep that. 1 and 12 have no common factors, so that's my answer.